Welcome to another episode of Three Hungry Guys. We're still on our Asheville tour, but this is our final stop. We're just outside of downtown where an old church was renovated to, into a restaurant called Chiesa, which is Italian for church. How obvious can, can that be? So I'm here with Stu Helm of AshVegas.com, who is really the kind of the food guru and has given us a lot of guidance where to go in town, and he's been out and about, and we're glad to have him back to try this place. And well, thanks for inviting me, Michael. I, I, I recently tallied how many places there are to get a bite to eat in downtown Asheville, everything from fancy restaurants to hot dog carts, and there's 138 places to grab a bite to eat in a very small geographical area. I've been to about 130 of them. This is one of the places I haven't been yet, so I'm really looking forward to trying it. Been hearing great things. Yeah. Should be really good. So we're, we're actually going to start early in the day with the pasta makers making the homemade pasta. So let's go check it out. So we're here at the kitchen of Chiesa early morning to start making homemade pasta that they'll serve tonight for dinner. So we're actually going to go through and watch them make some angel hair pasta. After making pasta all morning, now I'm back in the kitchen with Chef Nick He's going to teach me how to make tuna carpaccio. Thank you. Right. So we start with a nice slate plate and some fresh arugula. Line our arugula for our presentation. And we're going to layer our tuna on. Just fold it. This is a sushi grade tuna, ahi. We have capers. This is a caper Dijon dressing. This is our version of uh, an Italian sushi. That's what I'm talking about. Italian sushi. And some shaved shallots. There you go. Tuna carpaccio. Beautiful. I've got to put a caper on, because i got to say I help. You know all these episodes, I want to say, I help prepare the dish. all the credit. There we go. So over here behind us, we have some Spinach raviolis working. You guys got to see those being put together just a while ago. Yeah, we have plenty of food in there, so now we got some homemade fresh fettuccine. homemade fettuccine. And homemade pastas cook so much faster than the, the dry store board that might take 10, 12 minutes. This will cook about how fast? The, that fettuccine will cook in about two minutes. Yeah, it does cook really rapidly. The raviolis take about three minutes just to make sure the filling is cooked through. So we're plating up our hickory nut cap sausage, peppers, and onions right now. Uh, get all of our land-based proteins as local as possible. We're going to go ahead and toss that in our sauce. So you always want to twist your pasta back up to that little nest we started with. Keep it right in the middle of the plate. Sausage. Over here we have uh, pecorino cheese. We just finish it with a little bit of parsley because that is atypically Italian. And there is our Italian sausage for pecorino. Central Chiesa dish. There you go. Beautiful. Now we're ready to eat because I'm, I'm drooling. You know, I'm Italian when this stuff it hits home, just like Grandma used to make. All right. that this 
church and it was converted into a restaurant. And as you notice, we are sitting in bank seating, which were actually the pews in the church. It's really neat that they incorporated the remains of the church and it really makes for a unique, cool atmosphere. Okay, so we've got the tuna carpaccio that I helped prepare. <laughs> well, what'd you do this time, Michael? I put a caper on top. Oh, a caper, very good. Yeah. Gonna, I'll avoid the one that you put on. I think, messed up. I think it's right there. If that's yours, okay, I'll avoid that one. Well, I'm a sushi person to begin with, so I love the fresh fish when it's raw, the tuna. So I love that Dijon caper sauce. Now, when I first saw it come out, I thought that the shallots were red onion. I thought, well, that's going to be overpowering. But the shallots are perfect. They deliver flavor without too yeah. much punch. And uh, you say that you love the sushi. I can say that I was never a big raw fish fan until I started eating it here in Asheville. I'm from Boston, so it's weird that I didn't eat more fish in Boston. But here in Asheville, people, the restaurants really do a good job of carpaccio and other raw fish dishes. And this one is on par with the best I've had. Really good. Yeah, very good. Okay. And here we have our hickory nut gap sausage over fettuccine and our house-made raviolis over our hickory nut beef gravy. All right, ready to dig into these. I also want to mention they have a wide variety of wines here. They're all Italian. They also have Penny Cup Coffee, one of our local coffee roasters. They roast locally and uh, they serve their coffee in selected restaurants. I was happy to see the Penny Cup sticker on the door. Here we go. Michael. That is a hickory nut gap farm sausage, a, a well-known meat provider around this area, and it has a really nice flavor. It's grass-fed, it's delicious, and the pasta is cooked just right. The flavors, you know what it tastes like to me? It's Italian food. Yeah, it's like grandma used to make. Yeah. The sauce is great. Actually, it's Melissa's grandmother's recipe. It's outstanding because really the sauce makes the dishes in the Italian food world. Well. Mm -hmm. If you have a good sauce, 90% of the way there, then you add the fresh homemade pasta, makes it cook perfectly, makes for a perfect dish. Okay, so now we're gonna try the raviolis. I will say, I've actually tried these when we were scouting out the restaurants, this is what I had, and it was awesome. So again, it's, now this is a, a meat sauce. They get the, the beef for the meat sauces from the same, it's Hickory Nut Gap Farm. Hickory Nut Gap Farm. That's why I have him here with me for all the detail. I know these things. I do. I, yeah, no. it's a spinach ravioli. And they rotate the ravioli selections around, but this one's a spinach ravioli. And they actually have a little lemon zest in there. Mm, yeah, you can taste, taste it. It gives That's a little great. unique flavor, that lemon zest. Yeah. You know, usually we let the staff, my camera crew, eat the, or we don't finish, but I think we're taking this home. I think they're <laughs> out of luck. They're, they're going to have to, you know, we'll stop at McDonald's for them on the way back. It's been killing me to save a little bit of food for these guys, so I'm glad to hear you say that. <laughs> yeah. That was delicious. Both dishes were very good. I would say that the ravioli was unique. That lemon zest really made it unique yeah. for me and made it uh, sort of a lighter there, even though it's a cheese stuff ravioli. It seemed light to yeah. me. And uh, the whole meal was quite good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. And you know, the thing we like about the place too, you feel like you're part of the family once you get here. In fact, we just found out that it won. Uh, number one neighborhood gem in North Carolina, uh, according to the Open Table the application where you, or the app where you book reservations, and that's that's a really good high honor for these guys. Yeah, friendly neighborhood service and great old school family recipes and inside of a church. Yeah, there you go. That's great. Well, thanks for inviting me here. Well, I'm glad to have you. Thank you. And so that's it for this episode of Three Hungry Guys. We'll catch you next time. Ciao. Yeah, that was great. Only one, one take. take. One take. And I was lying. You can have the one. Yeah. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. You can feel the panic coming from these guys when they said that.